guys? ¿Qué pasa? Antonio Serrano here and today I have a very special video for you. you. You know that the videos that I love doing the most are videos when I talk about my favorite routines with specific props or specific limitations. In this case, my mobile phone here, in this case we're going to talk about my favorite rope routines. Rope magic is great for me. I love rope magic. Um, I think that my rope routine is one of those routines that the very first time that I performed it I was extremely scared and my routines is based in the beats from Tabari rope uh, magic and uh, fiber optics and things like that but uh, the first time that I performed it I was like very scary, something very skillful, I need to be very clean but the very first moment that I did it I was like oh my god why on earth haven't I performed this before it is great, it is my go-to routine, I think that I've never left for a show since that day uh, without uh, some kind of rope magic inside of my case. So let's get to it. I have some honorable mentions and I have my top five. So number five is going to be Richie Sanders Fiber Optics. I love that routine and he has a lot of routines but basically the one rope routine that he has in the DVD is outstanding. Any other routine that he has with the three ropes and the professor's nightmare element, it's great. What a great routine, all of the moves and it's simply cool. A lot of the times rope magic is like, here I have a rope and oh look, another ant. It's extremely boring. Richard Sanders made rope magic cool. It's like, look, whoo, and this move right here, and now I can take this, huh, and now I can put it here. Oh wow, he, he made it cool. He made it cool, so that's that's something great. You can, you can create a very good method for something, you can create a very interesting presentation for something, but taking an old trick that most people dismiss for being old and being um, unoriginal and make it original, surprising, uh, stunning and cool, that's something that you have to take your hat off and it's like, you, you nailed it, man. So, fiber optics, without any doubt. Number four, I have a Michael Feeney rope routine, which is called the Lady and Rope Routine. It's great. It's a great, great routine for a comedy show. Extremely funny, full pack with laughs. And the things that I love about that routine, and we can say that about all of the routines here, is that he has it down every move. He takes a very long rope, and when he um, when he restores the rope, he kicks the rope up, and the rope looks like Indiana Jones whip and goes whoop, and and the tip, the other tip of the rope, basically appears in front of his <laughs> his face just to take it, and he's like. Simply turning the rope around to grab both ends is magical in, in his hands. He, all, he, he also talks in, um, in his lecture, Penguin Lecture, and his very old uh, LNL DVDs about this, uh, the scissors that you use. You need to use very good scissors not to go munching through the rope like... <coughs> you need perfect scissors like anyone can, can take them and go... <coughs> and it's snappy, it's quick. And you can see that that's a person that has worked this routine most than anyone. And for that reason only, you have to take your hat off once again. Uh, number three, I love this routine. Number three, Daryl, the magician's magician, Daryl, acrobatic knot. Oh my god, what a killer routine. It has nothing to do, because we can argue that maybe fiber optics and Michael Finney cotton restore rope is a little bit cliche in um, when we talk about effect, uh, having uh, having uh, ends appear, making the the rope change into a circle. That's cliche for us, uh, for a normal audience. They, they they have no explanation for it, but that's cliche for us. But the um, the uh, acrobatic knot, the amazing acrobatic knot, I think is the full name, the full title. It's an outstanding routine and it's completely different. It's like First of all, we have two color ropes, which is quite um, or, uh, original in itself, and then one knot jumps from one of the ropes to the other, and, and we say and we say that like it's something easy to do or easy to think of, like the knot jumps and the jo and the knot slides, and then the knot you go like this boop, and appears again <laughs> on the rope, and then he moves again, and then it completely. Um, the soles inside the rope and it's impossible to move it. What a great routine! Incredibly thought of um, and in, it's one of those routines that is so impressive, is so well structured that you can basically do it any way you want. You can basically 
use the lazy pattern, which is say what you are doing. I have here a row, I'm going to do a knot, I'm going to slide the knot, I'm going to make the knot travel to this row to the other. You can use the lamest pattern possible and people are going to have a blast because the routine is great. But of course, you shouldn't do that. This routine is a great routine to put a presentation that uh, talks about you, that is original, that is interesting, um, is uh, like a blank slate. I love those routines. I love those routines that have space for you to be you and to be funny. I don't like those routines that come uh, with a pre-16 script. Like, if you want to do this routine, you have to say this line or you must have this moment for it to make sense. I don't like that. I like routines that are basic in effect and nature uh, and you can make it as complex or as simple as you wish to fit you. And the acrobatic knot is a great routine for that matter. And you should put it in your show yesterday. <laughs> you should have the routine in your show by yesterday. Okay? Uh, number two, what a great routine we have here. Number two, The Awakening by Dan Harlan. What an outstanding piece of magic, guys. It's basically Professor Nightmare, but uh, the way you dream about it. <laughs> like, you, you show the three different pieces of rope completely freely. The big one, the medium-sized one, the short one. And with a very simple move, they all change into equal pieces and they are constantly um, individual piece of ropes. You don't have to hold them uh, by a pair or in groups of three. You always have one rope in one hand, one rope in the other hand, and one rope across your elbow. And you show the three pieces of rope the same, and you simply put them together and go like this, boom, and now they are, <laughs> they are different sizes. And, you, and, and it's one of those effects that you can do it over and over and over and the more you do it the more impossible it gets and once more it's a great routine to put your own presentation i love the scripts the script and the bits of business that i have for this routine is extremely funny and it's something that i can quite relate as a magician as an as um, and as an individual the story that i tell when i do the awakening by don harlan so it's great and and when i first saw the routine i was like oh yeah I've, probably he's using magnets, right? That's the way it works, magnets. And when you see the explanation, in, or in my case, when you read the explanation, because I bought the effect by itself, when you read the explanations, it's like, oh shit, this is, this is incredible, it's, it's amazing. I, 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 I could have never think about a method being this elegant. Mike Caveney, another great magician, talks about this. You know that you have a good method when the method is elegant. And I think that very few tricks can relate as much to that as The Awakening by Darren Harlan. What a great routine. And in, uh, first, first of all, before talking about number one, I would like to talk to you about my honorable mentions. I've got here a lot of honorable mentions. For example, Pavel's Walking Knot. I love that routine. Feels a complete, a complete stage. You have to use a gimmick rope and I am a big advocate of using normal ropes. Um, so you can throw them into the audience and the audience always love to take a look at the ropes and look there is no magnets, no sticky tape, nothing weird and that's a very big convincer when you do rope magic but Pavel, uh, Pavel's walking knot could be the exception to that rule because it's so mesmerizing to look at um, that I think it's worth its, it's weight in gold. It's expensive, it's an expensive trick but it's a great add to your, to your stage or bigger venue type of show. Also, we have a Daryl rope routine. We talk about the uh, acrobatic knot, which, which I prefer over his rope routine. But he also has his rope routine, which is basically like the granddad or the, the father of fiber optics, where, where he has the three professors' nightmare length, lengths of rope, and he's basically changing them, interchanging those ropes into great effect, making knots vanish, appear. I love the way he takes the three different size ropes Changing, changing them into equal size ropes and then tie them together and tied together they change back into different size ropes which is a very good routine the uh, rope routine by Daryl I also have Juan Pablo ropes I wouldn't call this a routine but it's great he has a rope in his hands and when he, ha and when he makes a gesture the, this side of the rope goes inside his sleeves and he's like, oh my god, I have this inside my sleeve. And when he lets 
if he lets go this end, the other end of the rope goes inside his leaf, and now he has both ends sticking out his leaf and, and crossing um, through his chest. And when he covers it, there is no rope <laughs> in his chest because it is through his back, and he has to take the rope through his back, and now he has a full piece of rope to do any routine that you would like to completely and gimmick. What a great start for a rope routine, right? It's great. And the last honorable mention, Cody Fisher's uh, three ropes and a thousand laughs. I know that some people think that this routine is uh, a little bit icky, is like he's using double and tundra and all that stuff. I think that is one of the funniest presentations that you can have at a comedy club or a cabaret show to do a professor's nightmare type of routine. Hands down. If, if I have to do a professor's nightmare routine or something like that, that's the routine that I'm gonna use. Obviously, if I am performing for an adult crowd or something like that, um, maybe here in Spain, in, in specifically in the south of Spain, which is where I'm from, uh, we have a different type of sense of humor, and that kind of routine is completely normal for us. There is no one that is going to be, oh my god, he said, uh, I have a long piece of rope here, oh my god. We don't have that kind of thing here going, but I would like to hear about your country in the comments, if you would like to, um, if you would be able to get away with a routine like this. And number one, probably a lot of you guessed it, number one, Mac King, the road trick. Oh my god, what do we do with this amazing routine? Mac, King's, Mac King have, has uh, talked about this in several interviews, that he likes to start the show um, by uh, lowering everyone's expectations, like, that's my phone, lowering everyone's expectations, like, this is going to be very lame, this is going to be very bad, I, I'm not very good at this, like, lowering the expectations, and very quickly, the, uh, the trick starts to build, 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 and build, and when you reach the end of the rope trick, it's like, that's impossible. It's it's impossible. What he just has what he has just done is basically impossible. You have to take a look at that trick. You can Google it or search it on YouTube. And the ending of that trick is unbelievable. Magicians talk a lot about the ending because that's the new beat. That's the different beat that differentiates Mac King's routine from the other guys that do rope magic. But from my point of view. Even the middle section is unbelievably, 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 oh my god, for a twist, for a twist board. It's a, a, an unbelievably um, well-structured routine, and he has it down by the second. It's great, 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 great. As you know, I love uh, workers that have been performing something for a lot of years because that that's where where you can when you can see uh, your true goal. It's like my goal is not to be able to perform thousand tricks, my goal is to be able to perform like eight, nine, ten tricks, but better than anybody else. So guys, that's my top five rope routines. I would like to know your thoughts. Have I missed any rope routine? Maybe I read the comments and I am like, oh my god, I, I completely forgot about this routine. So I would like, I would love to know your thoughts and I see you in the near future. Bye there.